Hi, my name is Jamie Hall. I am a Springwater Township resident for about the last 10 years. We live just down the street from the Midhurst branch of the Springwater Library, and I have two little girls, and we come to the library all the time. It's a great community meeting place. The great thing is the staff know us by name. We've been to a number of the family movie nights that my girls absolutely love, and on one of the school breaks, we actually got to, to help build a robot that went in the lobby of the branch here, and that was a lot of fun for our family. The best thing is it is a great equalizer in the community and that it doesn't cost you anything It's to access the materials here. I'm a resident of Horseshoe Valley. Uh, I've been using the Ellenvale Library for some 35 years now. Um, a few years back, uh, unfortunately, it was removed from the roster of libraries that we could use uh, as a resident of uh, or um, I have uh, for the last number of years paid for the privilege of using this library and uh, I will continue to do so. I've always enjoyed the service uh, that has been provided here and uh, um, I'm very, very happy with this particular branch. And each year I bring my mom to the Elmville branch to have her income tax prepared. At 87, anything official or legal in nature can seem daunting to a senior. What could be a worrisome or anxious legal appointment has turned into a happy and friendly visit with the library staff. They are also helpful to us, booking all the appointments and making sure we have our paperwork in order. Mom's taxes are uncomplicated, but certainly would have cost her to have them prepared. As a retiree, she's grateful for this free service. The income tax program is hugely important for Springwater residents. For me, with the library situated right, right in town, the convenience to submit mom's taxes here is very much appreciated. Thanks, Springwater Library. We've had a long-standing, strong partnership with the library. And as a result, we've been able to reach many children, many families. and. Literacy is very important. Early screening is very important. So we've been able to do that as a result of coming to this location. The staff are awesome, help us tremendously and help us book things, organize families, give us the space. It's been a true great partnership. We have a baby and me program that we do on Tuesday mornings and it's awesome to have so many families come here. We've done sensory, baby sign, sing along, rhyme time. We have a music time or story time that we do on Thursdays and we've had up to 57 people, I think if I can remember correctly, coming to music and movement slash story time. Well, you've been coming to the library since you were how old? Um, two years old? Two years old. And how old are you now? Seven. So you've been seven. coming to the library for five years. Is it like your second home? Yeah. Yeah. Really. Are I we? Really, I really like it. It's yeah. So we are a homeschooling family and I've got three kids, Jackson seven, Gracie three, and a little baby. And we're here multiple times in a week. And as the ladies will tell you behind the desk, we take full advantage of interlibrary loans. <laughs> and I think since we've moved to Elmville five years ago, we've checked out hundreds and hundreds of books.
the library has been an integral part of my family's life for many years. I made it a priority for my children and in growing up at a library, they have become well-rounded and are aware of what's available to them in their community. We live in Tiny Township and have the option of using bigger libraries, but have always chosen Springwater because it's become a second home to us. This is a very active, very connected library and everything we need is right here. Thanks, Springwater Library. Keep up the great work. I've been coming to the library for five years now, and now I'm 15. And it's good for teens because they can access Facebook and YouTube and stuff. And it's a nice environment, and it's good for kids to read books. The high school isn't far from the library, so I can go on my lunch hour. I live in the country, and I'm, sometimes I bike to the library when it's nice out. And it takes me 35 minutes, but I really want to come. It's awesome. My name is Julie. I rented the McGuire room for my son's fifth superhero birthday party. It was a great space and worked out well for what we needed. Everyone at the Allenville Library was so accommodating. It was relaxing and effortless. A great space and a great time was had by all. And I'm a volunteer at the Elmville Springwater Library. People come in from the community with all sorts of needs that have nothing to do with library books. Anything from directions to the local post office, to uh, purchasing dog tags or garbage tags, signing up for parks and recs classes. The one instructions is how to use the, the e-readers, the iPads, filling out government forms online. There's a lot more than books that uh, the library has to offer. It's quite a, a busy place. My duties as a volunteer include helping out with the very popular story time. I've been using the library since we moved here in 2000. Next day we walked down to the library and we got our, our library cards. And uh, we've been frequent users of the library, probably coming at least once a week. Anything that the library has, we have used. I am now in my second term on the library board and it's introduced me to sort of the background of the library. And the other thing I do at the library is I'm a volunteer. I come in once a week and I reshelve books. And that helps me um, learn about the new books that are here. The thing that I really enjoyed was when Kathy asked me to run a French Reading Buddy program last year and we had uh, full complement and we had lots of volunteers come in and help out 
and it was really interesting to see the progress the kids made through the six week, week program and the parents were all excited about it and were pleased with the results and so now this year in March we're doing a second running of the French Reading Buddies program. The school here in Midhurst, Forest Hill, has now started a full French immersion program so we're building the French library uh, here so it helps out with the kids who are in that program and I encourage everybody to use the Springwater Library. Je vous encourage de venir à la bibliothèque et d'acquérir une carte de bibliothèque et aussi d'assister au programme qui, que la bibliothèque offre. Parce que nous sommes une partie de la communauté. The library is really an important part of the community. That was how I became part of this community. I'm a 38-year resident of Midhurst and spent 36 years with the Barry City Police and I've been retired for 15 years. The prime function in my view of a library is to encourage literacy, to provide one-stop shopping, to encourage everyone to expand their minds, language and reading skills, to embrace new and innovative technologies and exposure to different ideas and beliefs, with a view to ensuring our children and adults are as informed as worldly as possible. And in the final analysis, provide the books for the simple enjoyment of the written word. The library should provide a public meeting display area, adult and children's reading areas, and instructional program areas. It should provide research material, both printed and electronic via internet access provide ample adult fiction and non-fiction books in both large and small print and suitable children's <clears throat> publications. It should provide a supply of various topics on video, tapes, CDs, DVDs, and a selection of current newspapers and magazines. In a time where sociologists tell us that face-to-face -face communication and the traditional book are in peril, due to a worldwide obsession with cell phones, tablets and the links. I can assure you that this is not the case at the Midhurst Library. Staff are professional, informed, courteous and always engaging. Right here in the heart of Midhurst, you, we, have a jewel of a library. Use it and enjoy it. The library has been a great resource for us when we moved to Midhurst. It's really linked us with a lot of the businesses and people within the community. In taking the flower arranging class, I was able to meet the florist, the local florist, which was really nice. I started organizing the local Easter egg hunt, and the library was a great resource for people to drop off their donations for the, for the egg hunt. So it's really um, a cornerstone of the community, and I think that's important for all the residents. I like the reading program because it helps you to learn um, reading. This is a picture of reading buddies in the, in the news. We're holding up the banner of the sponsor. And we had a big party with shortbreads, chocolate cookies, a scavenger hunt. It was the awesome time ever. I love going for movies, crafts, 
um, s stuffy sleepover. My stuffy was on YouTube and it was naughty. Um, and here are some crafts. A flock and cloth. Sometimes I get them as gifts. Um, sometimes I keep them for myself. And sometimes I get them for birthday parties. And I love coming for the computers. I decided to do an activity at the library. I decided to take a scarf lesson. I learned how to crochet a scarf like this. The reason why I chose to do this scarf lesson is because I thought that if I started to make scarves, I could make my own business. Well, that actually came true. Now I'm an entrepreneur and I sell my scarves at the Midhurst Pharmacy and I sell them in Bracebridge. And at Christmas I had so many orders I could hardly keep track. And later on I got to teach a lesson in menacing. And many, many people came, which was really, really good. So now they know how to make their own scarves. I know there's lots of great activities here and there's lots of great learning opportunities as well. And thanks to the library, I couldn't have done this without them. I think book club for girls is a great program because it's just good to get girls excited about reading at a young age. The girls benefit not just from the reading and discussions, they are meeting other girls their age in the community they wouldn't otherwise have made social connections with. And for the girls aged 9 to 12, this is a huge, socially important time of their lives. The library provides a safe, clean, and fun environment for them. We love the book club! Hello, I am your host, Dalen Thomas. I'm here to talk to you about the Mega Pokemon Battle Club. Now, we're going to start things off with, well, everyone's favorite subject, the rules. Now, the rules of the Mega Pokemon Battle Club are fairly simple. They are, are trading, but not for the whole time. You want to battle in the Mega Pokemon Battle Club. There is all, you also have to listen to me and my brother, and if you don't, you get a strike. Three strikes, and you're out. So, the times are from 4.15 to 5.15. Very much fun and a lot of good times. Now, for the reason why we picked the library as the location for our amazing Mega Pokemon Battle Club. Well, it is not a very hard question. The library is awesome, they're very friendly, and it's a free location. But, the library also has this amazing room that we're in right now to let us host our club. Hi, my name is Caleb Thomas. And I'm going to talk to you about why I think my club is, well, mine and my brother's club is amazing and why people should come to it. First reason, I think it's amazing because you get to meet some new friends, you get to play the card game that you may not be allowed to play at school or at other places, you get to trade and get better cards to upgrade your deck. And the reason I think that people come to this is it's a lot of fun, you can also trade and play instead of just playing you get to trade too uh, the ages to come to this to come allowed to come to our club is 10 and older our club is op open to girls but it is mostly boys right now at the time and we've been running we've been running this for six months very long time. I like about the reading this program because when you walk in, Carol will always know your name, and at first you'll always get snacks, and then you they teach you how to read, and you get prizes at 
if you read enough books. We've been members here at the library ever since we had our son, and he's almost eight. So for eight years, we've been coming here to the Medicine Library. Max did Reading Buddies twice. The first year he did it was in grade one, when it was clear from his teacher that reading was a bit harder for him. So we signed him up for it because it was one-on-one -on -one with an adult, reading every week, and then he totally loved it. He loved his reading buddy, he loved coming straight from school every week, and he got snacks here and prizes, which were books, which he loved, and he just completely loved it. And he went up a whole bunch of levels at school. His teacher was very happy. In the second year, we sponsored the program because he was doing so well in it, and it was just invaluable to the community, and there's lots of kids that come here, and they all think it's great. I think it's so great. If you can start when kids are really little, with them feeling like the library is part of their community, and somewhere they want to go every week, then I think when they become teenagers and when they become adults, wherever they live, the library is part of where they're going to go. This is the fourth week in the Menacing Kids Book Club, based off the newest Diary of a Wimpy Kid book, The Long Haul. It's with a group of boys and girls ages 9 and 10, and it takes place here every week at the Menacing Branch. Each week we have a variety of interactive games and activities based off the book section we're reading. Uh, the location of the public school right next to the Menacing Branch has been great because the kids come in on their nutritional break. It's been a very rewarding experience for both myself and for the group. And here at Springwater Library, we're, all, we're always trying new things, so I think this has really been another example of a successful community outreach. I've been a patron of this library for nine years. My family and two other families meet here every Friday after school to come and get books and go on the computer, and depending on what the kids have for homework for the weekend. And we just meet up here and talk, and the kids read books on the floor, and we have fun. When I first came here, I was new to the, to the community. My babies were very small. Um, I came in and met Carol, and she connected me to playgroup and craft times and adult functions where I could meet and make friends and movie nights. It was endless. It was wonderful. It made me feel welcome. There have been a number of words used to describe libraries over the years. Knowledge, community, literacy. While these words do apply to the library, the word that can best describe the mission of the library is access. The library strives to provide knowledge, resources, information, and materials to all ages and backgrounds. It is this goal that pushes the libraries to evolve, and it is this access that transforms people into lifelong learners. The library is the cultural center and is necessary for the development and education and enjoyment of the community. The majority of people perceive the library as a provider of books. However, the library has continued to evolve. Libraries have expanded their collection beyond just books. We now have downloadable ebooks, MP3s, audiobooks, videos, and as you can see, with a simple click, our website provides all the instructions you need to download books at home. This brings us back to access. The library has expanded beyond the physical location and now provides digital access to all ages and backgrounds without discrimination by providing these services 24-7. You can search our online catalog, place holds, renew your books, all from the comfort of your home 24-7. You can access online resources, including databases, periodicals, find your next job, Research your next school project. Investigate your next purchase with Consumer Reports. Plan your next vacation at Global Road Warrior. Explore a new hobby. Learn a new language. Novelists will help you find your next great book. And at Teen Health and Wellness, you'll find real life, real answers to all your questions. Although many think that the emergence of this digital access and technology is making the library obsolete, the library maintains its status as a haven for information, not only through the provision of up-to-date research, but also by becoming one of the faces of new and emerging technology. No other business or center can provide access like the library can. My wife and I want our daughters to have a great education and encouraging reading for fun and for pleasure is part of that education and the library makes that accessible regardless of your financial circumstance.
Get yourself a Spring Water Library card. You'll never know how you might benefit until you do. Now I'm getting giddy. These are this is for the uh, the director's DVD outtake. <laughs> oh hello! Thank you for dropping in. <laughs> okay. Thank you for. Yes, welcome to Masterpiece Theater. <laughs> Makeup. Please. Okay. My wife and and what's her name <laughs> is part of that education. Library makes that accessible regardless of whether you've got the, the dinero. So get yourself a library spring. Get yourself a Springwater Library card. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of. It's good times. <laughs> it's it's your passport to fun. Take three. Okay. For everyone, regardless of their financial. Uh... Okay. I, had, I had it. I had it. Stop it. Stop distracting me. I'm behind okay. the wall. Yes, you are. You're listening. Go. Okay. And um, I have no idea what else to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the first take was the best. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not using any of this, don't you? Backgrounds. Um, <laughs> I'm going to keep doing that. I got to stop doing that. <laughs> Uh, the ages to come to this, to come, allowed to come to our club is 10 and older. Well, unless like 50 and 60, because they probably will have such better stuff to do than come to our club. Hello, I'm back. Now, I want to talk to you about the future of the Mega Pokemon Battle Club. Well, if you're if we're talking logic, this thing can go on for eternity. But, like I was saying, the future of the club consists of more fun days, like International Card Day, well, that's what I'm calling it, where me and my brother will teach you how to play another card game. Examples are Yu-Gi-Oh!, maybe Magic, and other card games. I don't know most of them, I only know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh!, but I bet you I can teach you how. I'll see you again next week. And Ginger is just awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, baby. You got it. Yeah? High five. That was awesome. <laughs> did, did you did you get the ginger is awesome one? I did. I did. <laughs> hey, what are you taking it down for? We gotta go again. What? I thought you said it was great. <laughs>